During the summer, I spend almost every weekend on the lake, whether I'm bass fishing with my dad and my little boy, or whether we're wake surfing. But the summer's winding down and deer season's just around the corner. But before I can get totally committed to deer hunting, there's one trip that I look forward to every year, and that's going down to the Outer Banks to catch up with some friends and family, to unwind, do a little fishing, and gig some flounder. Guys, I couldn't be more excited. I've got all my stuff loaded up. Just put the mule in the trailer. I've got the coolers. Uh, I've got my clothes packed up. Dad's going to be coming over here um, here in a little while. When it gets, we're going to leave out of here about dark, and uh, that'll put us there about three or four in the morning. Grab a quick nap before we take off on the ferry at nine o'clock. That'll give us an extra day. This overnight driving, we do it every year, and it's brutal after we've worked all day, but we want one more day um, to spend down there. I've been on this trip, I couldn't even tell you how many times, and I've never even thought about grabbing a camera. But uh, but this year I'm gonna to try to, to film what I can, um, meeting up with a lot of good friends that have been doing this a long time too. And uh, I've got a, a GoPro mounted on my gig light. So hopefully I can get some underwater footage. That's, that's my goal. And I'd really like to see how it turns out myself, to be honest with you. So, uh, so stick with us this weekend, and uh, we'll see if the fish are biting, see if the flounder's laying around, and uh, more importantly, we're just going to try to have a good time. What a start. two hours into the trip and we just made it to the bordering county. <laughs> we have had a flat tire on the trailer. Alternator is going out on one truck, so had to change the trailer tire, change the trucks. We're on our way. Maybe. Six a.m. It is Wednesday, September first. My favorite place in the whole world. It was a long night. We got down here about five o'clock. Parked. Took a nap. Tried. Tried to take a nap. Ferry leaves at nine o'clock, so we still got three hours. We're ready. We finally make it to the shack, and one thing I look forward to most about this trip is catching up with the guys. Some of them I hadn't even seen since last year's trip. We unload all our stuff, and we sit down on the porch to tell old stories and catch up. I had a pair of Bubba teeth, and it was the most real looking ones I've ever seen, wasn't they? I mean, they looked real. And I had long hair, and I had a beard, and here they rolled up and started coming up on I slipped them bubble teeth in. <laughs> and, and so they all, all, 12 of them come in the door and some, uh, I forget, somebody run down the steps, got Dwight. So Dwight's getting ready, he's on his way. Well, they're all standing there and we greet them. <coughs> and there's one in the back and I, I got these teeth. You know, <laughs> and, 
And he looks at me like he's crazy. He looks at me, and when I make eye contact, he goes, <laughs> hey, 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 he couldn't help it. He goes, and he looks like, I mean, we, me and this guy did this, and I ain't cracked a smile. And he thinks I've got, I mean, they look real. He's got the well, worst team ever. So anyways, they all go do their tour thing, and they're getting ready to leave. And they're all standing there, and Dwight's just getting ready to tell them goodbye and blah, blah, blah. So I walk over to Dwight, I grab him by the shirt and say, Daddy, Daddy, can I drive full clip around the yard? I've been good all day. <laughs> Daddy. God, Dwight's going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Him up. <laughs> After sitting around a while and catching up, it's time to jump on the buggies and head out and do some fishing. fish. Oh, we just got our bellies full. 
getting dressed. I'm going to jump in the uh, side by sides and head up here and try to get a flounder tonight. That's what we're here for. And it's going to be a good time. Hopefully the wind will lay down a little bit. It's pretty windy right now. But we'll see what's laying around up there. Hanging out around the fish cleaning station the next morning, I can't help but think back over all the years we've been coming down here. It's crazy to think that the first time I came down here was 15 to 20 years ago. These guys are brothers to me, and all these years wouldn't have been possible without the man standing on the right in this picture. None of us would be down here if it weren't for Uncle Dale. He took us all in, showed us the ropes, and has had a huge impact on all of us. I hate you couldn't make the trip this year, but we thank you for taking us under your wing and letting us be part of something that you've loved for years. We love you, Unc. Well, the trip's winding down, and we all gather up in the shack on the last night for one more show. It's been a heck of a good time, and I can't wait to do it again. Till next year, fellas. Hello.
Well, I began to think what a deed I'd done. Grabbed my hat and away I run. Any good run was a little too slow. Joe took me in Jericho. I stand on the corner reading the bill. And up step Sheriff from Thomas Hill. Said young man named Jermaine Brown. Remember the night I shot Sadie down. Well, I said, yes, sir, but my name is Lee, and I shot a little Sadie in the first degree. First degree, second degree, you got any papers, won't you read on me? Come on. Well, they took me downtown, they dressed me in black, they put me on a train and started me back. All the way back to that Thomas Hill jail, I had no money for to go to my bail. Well, the judge and the jury took their stand. 